I Will Ruin You a Novel by Linwood Barclay is a gripping suspense thriller that tackles deceit, manipulation, and the lengths one may go to uncover the truth and protect one's family. The novel opens with the introduction of David Harwood, a former journalist who is now working for a private investigation firm. He has a loving wife, Jan, and a nine-year-old son, Ethan, and is trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy in their lives. The harmony of David's life is shattered when he receives a mysterious email from someone calling themselves, I Will Ruin You, 91. The message contains a threat to expose a dark secret from David's past that could destroy his family and career. Initially, David dismisses the email as spam or a cruel joke. However, when a series of incidents begin to affect his professional and personal life, David realizes the threat is serious. A campaign of intimidation escalates as David receives more messages, each more menacing than the last. He struggles to understand who could be behind this and what secret they are referring to. He starts confiding in his wife and colleagues, making a list of anyone who might hold a grudge against him. As a reporter, David had made some enemies, but he cannot think of a specific incident that could generate such hatred. David's situation worsens when a major client of the investigation firm accuses him of bribery, resulting in his suspension. With his income gone and his reputation at stake, David becomes desperate to get to the bottom of the threats. His marriage also starts to show strains, as Jan begins to suspect that David might be keeping something from her. The tension is palpable as Jan confronts him about their trust and their future together. Frantically searching for answers, David revisits old reporting cases and interviews past associates, trying to identify any potential leads. He soon connects the threats to a case from 10 years ago involving a pharmaceutical company that he had suspected of harmful practices. The investigation had ended inconclusively, but David now wonders if someone involved is seeking revenge. As the threats become more personal, David's stress levels skyrocket, worrying for his family's safety. He even starts to question his own sanity as the mysterious adversary seems to always be one step ahead. David's paranoia spikes when he discovers that someone has been inside their home, leaving subtle signs of their presence. Eventually, however, David uncovers evidence that points to an old college friend, Brian Gaffney, who had connections to the pharmaceutical company. Confronting Brian reveals a complex web of deceit. Brian had been involved in covering up the company's misdeeds and, knowing David's tenacity as a reporter, had feared exposure. To divert David's attention from the real issues and to protect his own secrets, Brian concocted the elaborate scheme to discredit and psychologically torture him. Armed with this knowledge, David seeks the help of his former employers to build a case against Brian, only to be met with disbelief and skepticism. Rejected and isolated, he realizes that he must gather incontrovertible evidence to prove Brian's involvement and his innocence. As David delves deeper into the evidence, he makes a shocking discovery about Brian's crimes, which include not only corporate malfeasance, but also several murders disguised as accidents to silence those who knew too much about the pharmaceutical company's illegal activities. David's journalistic instincts kick in at full force as he realizes the magnitude of the conspiracy and that his life, as well as Jan's and Ethan's, is in danger. Fearing for his family's safety, David insists on sending Jan and Ethan away to her parents' house. Meanwhile, he decides to face Brian in a final, dangerous confrontation. Using his investigation skills, David sets a trap to catch Brian in the act, enlisting the reluctant help of a trusted former colleague. In a tense series of events, David lays out the evidence he has collected, engaging in a cat-and-mouse game to expose Brian and his crimes. The climax of the story comes as David and Brian confront each other. Brian admits to orchestrating the entire plot to destroy David's credibility and his life, but underestimates David's resilience and determination. With the police closing in, thanks to the evidence David gathered, Brian becomes increasingly unhinged, leading to a violent altercation. David, driven by the need to protect his family and find justice, prevails, subduing Brian just as the authorities arrive. The novel concludes with the immediate threat to David and his family eliminated. Brian faces numerous charges for his crimes, which now include attempted murder. David is vindicated and reinstated in his job, 
his reputation restored. With the nightmare behind him, he returns to Jan and Ethan, their bonds stronger for having weathered the storm. The family looks forward to rebuilding their lives with a newfound appreciation for each other and the peace they once took for granted. Linwood Barclay's I Will Ruin You is an intense, fast-paced story that keeps the reader on the edge of their seat. It explores the destructive nature of secrets, the dangerous pursuit of truth, and the enduring power of familial love. David's journey is a testament to the human spirit's ability to rise above adversity and the importance of confronting one's fears head-on. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.